everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just have a little project to share with you guys. Um, I'm a guest designer for um, Lori Moore um, with her 2015 challenges over at, there's a Facebook group, um, and I'll post a link to it below. And um, what pretty much all you do is like she has a challenge every month, and you can buy like last month was a star and like a little dingle. Um, and you can buy the kit from her store and this month it's just the cone and she has great shipping so um, you can combine your order with some other stuff that you want in her store and I'll post a link below and you can read all the rules and stuff to be able to participate so um, this is my version of the cone and um, you know it's just a paper mache kind of similar to this and I think this one is actually slightly bigger, but I could be wrong. Um, it's hard to tell after I've um, decorated it. Anyways, uh, I used some of the Prima, and I think it's the Lyric. I think I might be wrong. I feel so out of it, like out of my craft element, like I'm forgetting names and stuff like I always do anyways. So anyways, I, I like the, I didn't have any more of my old book pages or like, uh, music note or music sheet paper so I really like this and that's what I wanted to use and my idea came off a pin on Pinterest that Lori had posted on the Facebook group and so this is kind of where I got my idea from and then so I just took the paper covered it and then I put the styrofoam down in the middle and then this little stuff like confetti I don't know what it's called I got from me and Christy um, twins for me too here on YouTube uh, we did a valentine bag or box treat swap I don't remember the name of it um, and we were paired up together so she sent me like a little little box or a little like strawberry box I don't remember what they're called and that had some of this in there. So I took some out and put it in there. I thought it was really cute. And then I took um, and put some of this lace. And it's from Craft Supplies for You. And I'll post a link to the store below. Um, but it's this lace right here. I have right here. I have it on the inside. And then I have some vintage lace underneath. I tried to like bring it down more but it didn't work um, well actually I was trying to <laughs> I wasn't paying attention I put the vintage lace down first and then I put this but I was trying to make this just a slightly higher and then um, I wasn't really paying attention I looked after I had it glued on and I'm like oh it's not slightly higher so <laughs> I thought it still looked good so I left it and then I put some of this pearl trim for my stash down um, I did poke two holes. This was kind of after um, Chrissy's um, Tussy Messy that she sent me. Um, the way she did like the holder. So that's what I wanted to try. So I po punched two holes on each side and then I threaded the seam binding through. And I colored my seam binding with the worn lipstick Distress Ink. And then I tied a bow on each side, which was kind of a little bit of a challenge for me to figure out. But I just um, kept looking at the Tussie Mussie that she sent me because I think it's really cute. And then, so I have that. And then I have this lace and that pearl trim, same as the top. And then some more seam binding down here that I colored. And then these are some appliques from Craft Supplies for You. And just two pieces of them and they have the um, sequins on it and then some pearls so there's two pieces and I kinda just tried to overlap them and still let some of the paper shine through um, and then let's see I have some more of that same vintage lace here underneath um, so there's like two layers and then this trim and then on the inside is this trim I just have on the inside. And then for the flowers, I um, took some wire, which is just this, um, I think uh, Marla sent this to me, but I've seen this in Joanne's um, 20 gauge, it's the copper wire. And this is black, 
And so what you do is you just fold it and then, you know, twist it around. Um, I use just a couple of little pairs of pliers or, um, or twist it by hand if you can. So it's twisted like that. And then I glued it on the back of the two flowers and then just put, like this one I have the pink flower and then this one I have the lace on the back to cover it up. And this is just the rosette of the Prima paper and then I punched a hole or a hole, a circle and I cut it with my decorative scissors. Um, I cut the rosette with my decorative scissors too. And I did that and then I put a wild liquor craft flower on top. And then on this one, this is just a Prima, it's a burlap flower. And I took the button that was there off and I put a bling center on it. And then this is just some Tim Holtz ephemera. And I did the same thing with the wire, except for I like looped it so that a piece of paper would fit in between. And I kind of glued it and pinched it so the paper would stay. So that's my little tussy mussy. Oh, and then my little flowers, I just took and stuck them down there with the stems. These are craft supplies for you. And then these ones I got from my secret sister, Donna. And um, I just took the stems off of them, you know, cut them to the size, and then I stuck it down into the styrofoam um, with a little bit of glue. So I thought that was kind of cute. And um, so I hope you guys come and join in on the fun and show us what you can come up with the, with these cones. And I'll post a link below um, for the um, Facebook group and then also to Lori's Art Fire store and to Craft Supplies for You. And I hope that you guys have a great day and come join the fun. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.